Hello everyone and welcome to me getting ready in my bathroom. This is literally the only time I could think of that I would be able to record a little bit of this vlog because my life is insane right now. There's just so much going on as far as like collaborations and big ambitions for doing like a vlogmas situation. And basically I'm just, I'm just hopping on here to tell y'all that I'm gonna try to give myself some grace here. So I had explained it earlier that I was going to try to do like a 12 days of Christmas type thing for my vlogs this month. Not that vlogging is something that I'm like particularly skilled at. I have found out since I've started recording these, usually I forget to open or close basically anything I'm doing. I usually just like, I usually just record what's happening and then turn off the camera and then next thing you know somebody's crying or somebody's hurt or dinner is boiling over on the stove and things just never wind up turning out. So I'm going to give myself grace and I am going to record as many of these for you as possible. But if I forget a day, who really cares? I'm just going to try to get some content out for you guys. Just kind of see what our Christmas season is like. You can either accept it or not. <laughs> anyway, so I had my girls kind of come up with a list of some of the Christmas activities that they would like to do. They said a few things like going to see Christmas lights on houses. We don't really, we don't generally do like the shows, like the light shows, not that I'm against them. I just, it seems more special to go see the lights on the houses. We're gonna do some like dried oranges. The girls' grandmas are gonna come visit. We're hoping to do like a gingerbread house decorating thing. We usually do that with my dad's family. I would love to get all of those done. And if they don't get done, then, oh well, it's fine. I'm still a good mom. It's still a good Christmas. If we did none of these things, I'm still a good mom and it's still a good Christmas. And y'all have just seemingly stuck with me through all of this so thank you for being troopers and just like dealing with me being a you know mediocre youtuber <laughs> sometimes we only have so much to give and i'm gonna give you guys what i got today has just been really kind of hard to be honest with you so anyway i'm just taking this time to be by myself in the bathroom i actually love watching youtube videos while i do my makeup and my hair and i'm just gonna have a little bit of time to relax and get ready for the day and try not to be stressed and I cannot wait for January. I'm going to fill you guys in, but I'm actually going to have a season of rest in January. So, but I'll get to that another time. Okay, so today I'm cutting up some oranges. I know that in my tree decorate video, I showed y'all that I had some oranges that I made before, but they were probably about three years old and they were just, they were really dark. And so I don't know how these are gonna turn out. I don't know if it's the thickness that you cut them or if it's just the type of orange that makes them either light or dark, but the light wasn't coming through them very well. And I just decided to do a few more. So I just got started cutting these and then I'm gonna lay them out on a pan and I'm gonna try to Google and see how long I'm just to put them in the oven. Right now I set it to 250 but it might actually be less than that to dry them out. So we'll see, but I'm gonna get cutting and I'll cut now and I'll Google later. <laughs> start getting a baking sheet put out. I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna be able to fill on one. I might actually already have enough to fill a tray, so let's get started on that quick. Okay, does anybody else's baking pans look like this? <laughs> or is that just us? <laughs> I think I might throw these kind of ugly ones. I don't feel like they're gonna be pretty with a light behind them or anything. It's not really worth keeping them and having them take up space on the pan. Just eat them right off of there. Pull it off with your teeth. There you go. How's that? Mm. Is it juicy? You got orange juice dripping on you? Mm. I did one for you, Mom. I got one, Mom. Thanks, babe. I'll do that one next, okay? Okay. Get all those on the inside, okay? Ooh, yummy. Yeah. Look how much pieces there is. Yeah? Yeah, don't you? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, so from what I saw, it said to bake in the oven for two hours at 200 degrees. So I'm actually gonna turn down my oven a little bit and then I'm gonna put these guys in there and see how they do. So um, it also said to flip them every 30 minutes. So we're gonna try doing that as well. 
Okay, y'all, so I'm a little bit embarrassed that my oven was so nasty. I have to admit to you guys, I don't know how to clean an oven other than just like wiping it down. I know that there's literally a button on there that says self-clean, but if I just push it, does it just, if I open it up, it's just gonna be beautiful inside. <laughs> I guess I'm just like, I don't know, how have I made it this far in life and I don't know how to clean an oven? There's some sad, sad things about me and that's one of them. You do that so well. Wow. It's like you've been doing this your whole life. Uh, hi! That's her baby's name, Ivy. Hi, cutie tooties. Okay, let's finish the rest of these. In our second crazy looking pan. Do the rest. Baby noises. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you. Yeah. I think we should be able to fit the rest of these on here. Yeah, thanks. No, I'm gonna eat all of these ones. You're gonna eat all of them? Yeah, all of them. We've got room to spare. All of these. Yeah, okay, you keep going for it, okay? Okay. See if we can get Ivy to try a little bit. You wanna try some? You wanna try it? I don't know if you've ever had an orange before. You wanna try an orange? What do you think? Is that pretty good? What do you think? You like it? It's good, huh? It's good. Okay, so my timer just went off, so I'm gonna reach in here and grab these. Flip them, like they said. Okay, so these have been in the oven for, I would say probably closer to three hours. And they're not completely dried out yet, but you know what? I see that the edges are getting a little bit kind of browned and I would like to try to keep that orangeness to them so they don't turn brown like my other ones did. So I'm actually just gonna, I have them kind of layered on here. I've got the ones from the other pan. I set them on this pan. I'm just gonna let them dry naturally, I think from here on out, instead of trying to put them into the oven a little bit longer. So we'll see how these turn out. I'm just gonna kind of keep them out here for a few days, I think. Okay, we had our first casualty of our glass ornaments. So sad. I'm actually really surprised though. It wasn't one of the girls. It was the dog. <laughs> Some of them fell off. Ow. Sorry guys. Hurt. Sorry guys. Sorry my sister. <laughs> Is there any more on the floor? You can do it. There you go. Good job. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You better not. 